when you know why you wrote your past the way you wrote you will naturally feel you should be naturally feeling active you should experience the self drive to rewrite the future please understand if you know if you understand why you wrote the past the way you wrote the first thing you will experience is the self drive you will become active to rewrite as you want you will start asking how can i rewrite i have seen in every kalpadaru meditation program people come and tell me swami ji last time when the kalpadaru program kalpadaru meditation i asked you this i never imagined it will become reality it became reality how is it possible how is it possible how can what i want become reality i said oh god then all this year you are living in such deep self denial it is so unfortunate we so strongly believe that what i want can never become reality i call this disease as sdhd like adhd sdhd ADHD is for the kids to grow up SDHD is for the kids grown up self doubt self hatred self denial this is the biggest disease with which all the grown up kids are suffering self doubt self hatred self denial people are not ready to believe your mind as ability to cause what you want as reality people are not ready to believe you have the ability to rewrite your future i tell you in my public life last 12 years almost i have spent 12000 hours speaking we have the recorded audio tapes almost 12000 hours when i look back once in a while and see what is the need for me to speak so many thousands of hours i have already crashed osho osho has only 8000 hours of discourses i have already crashed no, it's not for pride no, please don't clap it's not for any pride or arrogance or any declaration or any superiority no i'm just stating the fact i just look back i'm only 36 i i was contemplating what is it really i spoke 12000 hours we have released only less than 20% to the public as sana only less than 20% is edited if i have to be very precise 
18% only is edited and published. I was wondering, what is the essence, if somebody asks me, the essence of these 12,000 hours? What should I say? I tell you, now I am giving you the essence. In the 12,000 hours, 10,000 hours, I have to speak to convince human beings about their possibility. Only 2,000 hours I gave how to do it. Please understand, it took 10,000 hours for me to convince it is possible for you only 2,000 hours to teach how to. Because the SDHD, the self-doubt, self-hatred, self-denial is the biggest problem of human being. The moment they smell, they are convinced about the possibility, how to is very simple. And all of you should notice, if you observed in this whole satsang, till now, I have not started how to. I am only till now convincing you about possibility. <laughs> still I have not started how. Because how is very easy and simple. Many times, when I start telling people how directly, they think, oh, the Swami doesn't know much, I think. <laughs> it looks so simple. How can it be so simple? He doesn't know the complications of life, I think. Maybe he's not yet completely finished his education. <laughs> no, really. When I straight away attend, to the question, how to rewrite your future, people feel, oh, this looks too simple and too... Uh, something is missing. No, I went and heard that Swami speaking. It all made sense. But it looks too simple. I think something is missing. Because your SDHD made you to believe your complications are too strong. Your complications are too strong. You are not ready to believe. Solution can be too simple. How to can be too simple. As I said, 10,000 hours it takes for me to only convince people it is possible. It takes only 2,000 hours for me to show how to do. In the 12,000 hours when I look, because human mind is so crazy, scared and crazy. Whenever a possibility is shown, it only wants to challenge it does not want to use it. It only wants to establish its supremacy, saying, you are saying possible, I will prove it is not possible. Maybe possible because you are already on a throne. Listen.
first step to rewrite your future is understanding it is possible next internalizing the crazy part of you you need to sit and internalize the moments you go crazy means like you start telling yourself come what me i'll do this you are scared but your arrogance takes over you you are scared internally but your arrogance takes over you externally those are the moments i call moments of incompletion in your life powerlessness those are the moments you wrote your past the way it is existing now first step is internalizing those moments whenever you go crazy feeling scared sit and pen down how you react how you respond how you perceive you and how you perceive the world how you show you to the world this three sit and try to pen down pick up at least five incidents in your life when you have gone crazy you are scared but become arrogant become arrogant due to that scared feeling frightened child frightened child whenever you got into that mode how you perceive you how you feel about you how you feel about world how you show you to the world study this three just five incidents you will know the exact pattern of how you wrote your past the way you wrote why you wrote your past the way you wrote please understand why you constantly attract abusive relationships in your life why you constantly attract people who cheat you in your life why you constantly attract the mental patterns which puts you in depression and powerlessness why you constantly attract the lifestyle which puts you in disease why you created the mess you created what you call as your past and why you go on justifying it to yourself everything is okay that is okay that is the way life is i call this anti models uncle models means by 45 to 50 you come to the conclusion with all the mess you created oh god life is like this only you come to terms with that whole mess life is like this only life is like this only life is like this only 
You come to terms. You start thinking, this is the way life is. And you start justifying, everything is okay. This is like, if there is an earthquake in your area, you wake up and just see whether four legs of your cart is balanced on the ground and you lie down and pull your blanket, that's all. <laughs> everything is okay. <laughs> I am supposed to bother only on the cart I am lying down. And that is balanced and stable. You just pull your blanket and lie down. The first step is studying the pattern with which you built your past. Whenever you are scared and crazy, what kind of decisions you take? What is the approach you maintain towards you and life? And the second step I want you to know Rewriting as you want is possible. Rewriting as you want is possible. We immediately start saying, No, 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 how can it be possible? No, 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 how is it possible? Maybe it is possible for you, you spend so much of time in meditating, doing tapas. Please listen. I wanted you to know, life is not difficult, but you have to do it. It is not difficult as you think. If you think it is difficult, you are wrong. And if you think everything will happen by itself, you are wrong. It is neither difficult nor everything is going to happen by itself. You have to do it. <laughs>